right there you have my uh, 40 day old Lycan yeah. Shepherd puppies and Mr. Septimus here and Mr. Baloo over there this is their first exposure to some fish uh, that's actually a frozen tilapia I'm thawing a little fish for the dogs I just finished feeding the pups Toki's over there talking they're just in the kennel there for uh, video purposes they live in the house as I said I was thawing some fish for the dogs meal today and I just finished feeding the puppies some ground beef and I thought I'd give them a frozen tilapia to play with again it's by exposing them to uh, new foods like this when they're young that we get them to readily eat them when they're older you know I'll give them this frozen fish to play with and uh, goof around with in the yard to start familiarizing them with it a uh, fishicle so to speak <laughs> little Seth is feisty as heck he's always attacking me now aren't you crazy little dude he's looking pretty cute with his uh, ears well Lou seems to be pretty interested in the uh, fish yeah you little tyrant are <laughs> now what we do when they bite like that I'll stick my finger under their tongue and push down a little bit it discourages them from doing that Kurgan saying, hey boy, you're bugging me. <laughs> Toki's like, I want to come out and eat that fish. <laughs> That's Toki talking. But again, we like to expose them to stuff like this early on. These guys are 40 days old. They're not gonna be able to eat this like this. That's not the purpose here. Uh, this is just a familiarization. I, I just fed them some ground meat. They, they ate about uh, three quarters of a pound of hamburger together between them. But you can see they're already very interested in that fish. It's gonna become a uh, big source of food for them here over the next few weeks. In a few days, I'll start taking some fish like that and taking a mallet to it and mincing it all up. And you don't have to worry about fish bones with dogs as long as they're raw. It's only cooked bones are, that are dangerous. It goes for chicken bones and other bones too. Raw bones are safe. Cooked bones are dangerous. You know, there are mammals of all shapes and sizes around the world that uh, live off of fish as a uh, regular part of their diet. I have this crazy little guy trying to uh, bite me and I made the mistake of wearing sandals out here. <laughs> they are mighty cute. They're getting so friendly and playful now. They're just a blast. No, oh, not the toes. <laughs> Ow! So again, I'll stick my finger into the tongue. So he's being a little nicer now. And I don't scold them when I do it. I just make it unpleasant for them to bite me. You know, or I'll stick my finger down, make them gag a little bit. You know, I'm not hurting them. But I'm just making it unpleasant to bite me. Get my finger under his tongue. 
Ow. Ow. You can give a little, a little noise there too, like they're hurting you, and that's how they know. You know, we're teaching them, you know, how to moderate their uh, biting. Boy. Ow. Ow. See him step. Oh, boy. Like, but I want more, you dad. Oh, oh, oh. See him step when I give him the little ow. Now, that doesn't work with all puppies. There are some puppies that like to hear you hurt. <laughs> I've had a few bulldog puppies like that, but for the most part, you know, they're pretty good. Ouch, oh, oh. Oh, boy. See? Oh, boy. Boy. Again, we're just teaching him to control and moderate his bites because those puppy needle teeth can be pretty rough. I'm trying to get you on camera, but you want to attack me. You're such a cutie. But that's how I handle puppies biting is, you know, I'll stick my finger under their tongue. Oh, oh, or I'll make a noise, you know, whichever works with the dog, you know. You just want to make it unpleasant for them to bite you. And you don't want to scold them for it so they don't read it as a reprimand, you know. You know, that's the problem a lot of people make is, uh, you know, they reprimand their puppies too hard. And, you know, these guys are just young little little dudes, you know, they, they don't know. You, you got you to gotta teach them. And you can do that verbally like you saw me doing. Or you can just, like I said, make it unpleasant. Put your finger back towards the back of their mouth, under their tongue, and press down. You're just teaching them that, hey, my hand's not a fun thing to chew on. And then if you have a toy or something, you can redirect them to uh, biting on a toy or another object or chasing a ball. Ooh, he's hamstringing him. <laughs> you are just a little devil. Sep was, or uh, Balu was going into the den there to sleep, and I was just recalling him out for a minute, showing you that was that, that stuff works good. They're uh, getting sleepy because they ate all that meat. <laughs> He's got the same cur tail Kurgan had as a puppy. He really reminds me of Kurgan as a puppy, as a matter of fact. He's got those same kind of angular wolf eyes. Where they're drinking a little, they like they like water. That's so cute once their ears start standing up. Ouch. Went in for the sneak attack. 
You can see Baloo's a little bit taller now. He's got the longer legs. Septimus is still a little thicker. Second, I'll let mom out. Come on, Ulu. She's like, I want that damn fish. Lulu's blowing her uh, winter undercoat. That's what you see on her sides. I got to brush her today. It's a, a daily thing for about uh, two weeks brushing her. I'm gonna scoop the puppy's fish up. I figure she'll start eating it and the puppies will start uh, getting the little bits she drops off of it here in a minute. Yeah, that's uh, one of the ways we like to introduce them to new stuff. You know, we get mom eating it in front of them and uh, it stimulates them to want to eat it as well. Again, fish bones are perfectly safe for dogs as long as they're raw. It's cook bones that are dangerous. We got a battle royal going on between the brothers while mom eats. <laughs> you can see uh, Septimus is uh, practicing his ground fighting skills as Baloo takes his back for a rear naked choke. Septimus is perfectly safe. Mom's just telling him, hey, get your face out of here so I can chew on it. It's not aggression. That's how dogs talk to each other. You know, people will often misread stuff like that. starting to lick off the little bits and stuff as mom's eating. She's like, hey, don't be taking my fish, boy. <laughs> now again, that's mom talking to him. She's telling him, you gotta get your face out of the way. I'm trying to bite and chew this.
people might might find seeing this process interesting as I introduce these guys to stuff like this with mom. Get your nose out of my mouth as I'm chewing, boy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Baloo's being a good little man and sitting back and waiting. Ooh, God, Septimus told that, stole that from her. <laughs> that was pretty cute. Yes, yes, mama. It reminds me of the video I have of Kurgan eating fish and the puppy's trying to steal it from him out of his mouth. Oh nice, you got all kinds of fish gunk and spit all over your head now, Sep. <laughs> you a good girl. Good girl. Tried to steal it from her. He's getting all kinds of little bits now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Baloo's gently waiting his turn. Balu uh, was really pig and out, so he might be pretty full. <laughs> and again, this is all canine communication. And you can see Lulu's blowing her undercoat. She gets a very dense undercoat in the winter. See, and Sep's there vacuuming up all the little pieces she's dropping as she's eating. And looking for chances to steal it from her. <laughs> Look at that little tail up in the air, you can tell. Again, he's not feeling threatened by the noises mom's making or anything like that. She's just talking to communicate with him. That's her saying, hey, listen to me. Get your head out of my mouth. <laughs> Again, people will often misread this kind of stuff as aggression when they see it amongst their dogs or their mom with the puppies. This is how mom disciplines and communicates with their pups in these situations. And the puppies are learning how to communicate also. You see, she has no problem powering through that frozen fish head. Boys are over there cleaning up all the little bits she dropped. I'm running out of recording time. I only got a minute left. That's why I died there, as I was saying. You can see Baloo is a little more respectful of Mom than. Uh, Mr. Septimus, the seventh son. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Like, subscribe, and share, and hit that notification bell. You'll get email notifications when my new videos come out. Again, I'm about to run out of battery here.
piece there. It's like a piece of gill or something. Yeah, got, or, uh, Balu got that, it looks like. Nice. Again, this is a great way to introduce your dogs to new foods like this. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye from the boys, Ulu, and uh, the terrible too. See ya. Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.